What is up bros and broads, it's Inkslasher44, and today we're going to be talking about Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, uh, more specifically whether or not there will be a beta, and as you guys probably already know, the big multiplayer reveal for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is on August 11th, and if anything, that would be when they would release that there would be a beta. And it's interesting because the last time there was an open beta for a Call of Duty game was for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, and it was it was a pretty good beta. Um, they they used it to change things like a beta should be done. And if we look back in time to multiplayer betas, we have games like uh, Halo Reach, uh, Destiny just came out, and generally games do betas pretty well. However, I really really strongly think that Call of Duty Advanced Warfare will not have a beta. And there is a few reasons for this, and that's what we're going to go over in this video. However, there is one reason why I would believe that this might be one of the games that there is a beta for. Why, you ask? First of all, two reasons. It's the first game developed for a new console. And what I mean by that is Call of Duty Ghost was not developed for the PS4 and Xbox One. It was developed for the Xbox 360 and PS3 and PC and ported to the new consoles. Which means the graphics weren't as good, it didn't run at as high of a blah blah blah, it didn't use this new technology and all this stuff. So, what this means is it's really going to be the first game, first of all, developed with a new engine, and second of all, developed on for new consoles. So, what this means is there's more chance for screw-ups. Also, that it's developed by a new developer, Sledgehammer Games, which means they have not really released a game at this capacity with this many people playing before, which means, again, more chances for them to screw up, which means it might be a good idea for them to release a beta. So that is the one, two reasons you could call it that I really do believe that it would be a good idea for them to release a beta. So if we look at the re by the way that guy just got turned on but anyway if we look at the reasons for them not to release a beta they're a lot stronger and much more of an incentive for them not to starting off with that Call of Duty has already has all the sales they need now that being said if we look at the sales for Call of Duty Ghost they sold 14.5 million copies which is 10 million less than Black Ops 2 sold. So there was obviously something going on there, either something with the game sucking or something with the new consoles being released and having trouble selling the games because of that. But more or less, they had a lot less copies sold than past Call of Duties. Now, a game selling 14 million copies is nothing to gawk at. So knowing that, we know that so many people are already going to be planning on buying the new Call of Duty. So what this means is that when they release a beta for it, I believe that their only thing a beta would do is turn people away from the game. And what I mean by this is Call of Duty kind of goes through a diff interesting little life cycle. When Call of Duty is first released, it goes through a little bit of a honeymoon stage because it's new. Anything that new, people like. Then people start to hate it, and then people hate it more. And then when a new Call of Duty is released, people love the old game. Now. Looking into a beta, people are going to get sick of it a lot quicker because there's going to be less guns in the beta, there's going to be less maps in the beta, and less things to do in the beta, which means that honeymoon phase for the beta would go by a lot quicker than a life cycle for the game, which means people are going to get very, very, very frustrated with the beta, causing them more or less to get very, very frustrated with Call of Duty Advanced Warfare as a game. This means that it could deter people away from actually buying Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and making it so that they won't buy it no matter what, therefore reducing the number of pe copies people were just planning on buying because they know the series, which would be a huge, huge problem for Sledgehammer Games and Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now, that being said, I still want them to release a beta for a couple reasons. First off, I think it would be enjoyable for me to play, and I'm going to buy the game no matter what. But ask yourself this. Sledgehammer releases a beta and you're planning on buying the game so you download the beta and you start playing the beta and it sucks I mean you hate the new mechanics you hate the new jetpack mechanics you hate the new side strafing mechanics you hate whatever in the game you just dislike it strongly is there a chance it'll stop you from buying that game and I think the answer for most people is yes it, it'll kind of deter you from buying that game and if anything like we said before not help the sales of the game, hinder them, make them worse in any, many, many ways. So what this means is that, is there more of a chance of it ruining the, the game for them? Or is there more of a chance helping the game for them? And the answer is it's going to hurt them more than anything. Because people who are already planning on buying the game are going to be the people that are going to download the beta. 
there's going to be very few people out there that are not going to buy the game and play the beta, which means, more or less, the only thing it's going to do is stop those people who are already planning on buying the game and stop them from buying it. Make it so that they don't want to get it anymore and therefore reduce the sales. And that's why I really strongly believe that Call of Duty Advanced Warfare will not have a beta. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Would you think it's a good idea for them to have a beta? Do you think they're going to have a beta? Would you play the beta? Like, let me know what you think in the comment section below. And also, if you could leave a like rating, that would be super greatly appreciated. And like I said in the last video, I made a Twitter account, and that's probably the best way to stay in contact with me, know what I'm doing, uh, and first way to see videos when they come up, because I'm posting them there too. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, check the two videos on the screen if you haven't seen them yet. And until next time, guys, peace out.